Aries, I am looking at your cards and I am so excited about what I see for the month of August for you. Let's go over your Oracle cards first because they are so important when I look at your, your general reading for the month of August. Your ancestors, the ancients and ancestors, uh, angels and ancestors are really giving you the advice of the high priestess, you're entering this month with this beautiful energy of instinctively knowing what to do. This is going to be very important because what I'm seeing here is a lot of change that you are going to begin generating in your life. You are harnessing your mystic power, absolutely incredible energy, the black cat, that sort of witchy, you know, energy of manifestation. Hold space is what your ancestors are saying to you. Druid energy, hold space for what your dreams are, Aries. We see be the light, the white witch. It's so funny now with the black cat, now we have a white witch. Your energy, everything that you're bringing in, you are about to make a major manifestation come to light after a long time of thinking that it couldn't happen. You are the wise one. Grow within your current situation. Hold space and grow within your current situation. Don't get so caught up in any relationships or other people at this time because you have a mission from spirit that you are being called upon to fulfill in your own destiny, Aries. Okay, so let's look and see the winter's dream. It's a gestation period. Remember when I talk so much and so many astrologers talk about the fifth house, the children of your mind, the children of your body. The gestation period is a time when, say, somebody who's writing a screenplay or writing a piece of music or creating a beautiful piece of furniture. It's that period of time when you're really thinking about what do I do? What am I going to do? What are my plans? How am I going to create and birth this new energy coming in? Six and three is nine. This is going to take you to a level of prosperity that you cannot even I think for most of you, you just don't see it coming. I just don't think you see it coming. You know you want to be happier, and that's the energy that I get. So when we look at the morning dew girl, and we look at mermaid love, the morning dew girl wakes up every single day very happy, very early. She wants to be outside. She wants to do things. It's a really great therapeutic aspect right now to take a walk in the morning, but to really enjoy your mornings and take space and set your intention for the day. We see that in a love affair, there's something very different about you and a love partner. You love this person, you actually really will never let them go, or you don't want to let them go. But what I'm seeing right now is this divine, beautiful love relationship from two people that are very, very different. <clears throat> if you do not currently find yourself in a relationship, you soon will. Well, hello, Rose, how are you? Come on over here. You can come up here. You wanna be in the video? Come on. So let's look and see now what we have for your journey. We see staying focused, holding the course. Beneath the service lies great bounty. That's what we're seeing here. The gestation period, the time in which you know you really need to play. Our work can and should take on a quality of play for it is play that stimulates creativity. So when we look at people, anyone who does not have a relationship in your journey right now, it's believe in magic. Here you are, the high priestess, very magical. So what we're seeing right now for many of you, Aries, is that if you're not in a relationship, you are really craving a relationship that is very much based on pure love. The answers you need are coming, full moon and Gemini energy, Gemini energy. So if you have a Gemini friend, that could be your full moon, but <laughs> we've already had that full moon in Gemini. But it really says that you have everything you need at your fingertips, Aries. I'm so happy for you. So now as we look forward, 
you are feeling very unsatisfied in a relationship or connection you're feeling as though you want your life to be very different you're ready to walk away from something that you thought you wanted when i say that i'm saying that because we have dragonflies and butterflies and you know she's peacefully walking away like across this river crossing her emotions to and this is a ladybug for good luck uh, and walking away from somebody who is ready to be a marriage partner for you. The Four of Wands, your person wants to marry you. They want to live with you. They want to stay with you. And right now, I don't think that most of you are feeling as though that relationship brings enough satisfaction. So I feel as though you're walking away into your creativity. You're walking away into yourself to a large degree. I don't see you technically leaving the relationship at this time, but it is something that you think about, I think, on a daily basis. Not necessarily leaving a relationship, but being more happy, more fulfilled, more satisfied and that is the journey that you're on right now is to seek satisfaction beautiful journey exactly what your calling is as individuals we're meant to be in relationships but we're very much never meant to give up our core um, gifts and what spirit wants us to bring into life and give to the planet we have in your money section the king of pentacles energy is typically a job uh, that is well known. I call that the Fortune 500 card. The King of Pentacles energy is your earned income. So for those of you who are in a traditional sort of labor workforce situation, there is some abundance that's coming from that area of your life. We also see that your partner is very much very powerful. This is other people's money or your partner's money. So if you are a single and you're ready to mingle, it means that you want more satisfaction because you want to be married. If you're in partnership, you may leave a partnership because you want more satisfaction. For those of you who are single, your money is really good, and it shows that in the future, your investments, inheritance, that you have the ability to get bank loans, that you have the ability to do what you want financially, the emperor card. You may even have a person who will be a benefactor to you, but right now your money, even if you feel like your pocketbook is empty, it shows great abundance for the month of August. Being very comfortable, working out any details that you need to, to create uh, more wealth. So beautiful energy there. The Queen of Swords, in terms of your thinking right now, I, you know, the Queen of Swords is Libra energy, and it's all about, you know, this woman is looking forward into the future. When we look at the Eight of Cups, we're looking at this person taking off. You know, I feel like she walks over here to the hot air balloon, and then she rises above everything. But your thinking is very much focused on the future. What do you want long term? What is your journey? Where is it going to take you? The Queen of Swords energy is saying that anything that you cut out of your life right now will be fine. You know, what you are tired of doing is carrying a burden. There's some sort of burden of what other people think of you. It's a burden of feeling like if you leave somebody or something behind, that people will think you're flaky. So you are concerned about what other people think right now. In your house and home, I'm seeing that you have a lot of work to do. The King of Wands energy is all about getting fired up, beating the drum, making your home life better. It's spending a lot of time. Leo energy, too. This is your Leo season. It's really a time of having fun, you know, going to the party, uh, playing with children, going on vacation. Um, having doing a lot of physical sorts of fun things that would be play tennis or involve yourself in just everything that's fun whether it be athletics whether it be children whether it's having babies romance making love you are fired up and this is your season Aries the chariot card is telling us that in your 10th house you are moving forward you're moving forward in a very slow sustained pace but you are really going into this energy of the emperor with the chariot. The emperor typically drives the chariot, and so we're seeing that you are definitely taking control of your destiny this month. Powerful, major arcana cards for you here. 
when we look at your um, the energy around romance and love and what other people bring to the table we're seeing that right now your romantic partner seems like a lightweight compared to you your feeling is though you want the eight of wands you want sex and passion and you want to go somewhere you want to take a flight somewhere you want to go on a vacation you want to have the energy of excitement in your life again you you feel like you've been stagnant that it's been all work and no play but you are really in that energy of having fun it does look like many of you are vacationing your partner is again you know you feel as though sometimes it's becoming more and more like friendship instead of hot romance so for Aries that doesn't really work out as well but for those of you who do not have a partner it does look like you'll go on a vacation with a very good friend with whom you're close and you really enjoy their company there could also be an age different difference for many of you you are friends with your children and that is a beautiful thing the tower card indicates that in your everyday life of work the routine the Sunday through Monday you've had it you need a change you can't take <clears throat> for many of you the tower card can indicate a restructuring of an employer's workplace it can mean being laid off this is your work sector health sector everyday habit sector and you are about to go through a revolutionary change that is going to bring you great happiness and what's interesting is that for many of you if you're in a job that you don't like oddly enough if that doesn't work out it you wouldn't really necessarily tell anybody but the secret that you have is it's almost like I've been set free I'm so happy the Sun card so strong Leo energy this month you are very focused on happiness on creativity and on manifesting so let's see I always do one set of cards for a tricky relationship this relationship could indicate a boss a friend a neighbor somebody with whom you're having a dispute or that you really love but we're going to take a look at these cards this is a shadow deck El Goliath it is the dark side of the moon as I call it it's a beautiful deck of inner workings the sacred heart so most of you are thinking about somebody that you love that you've never stopped loving the hermit card tells me that you're not in contact with this person at this time you might have even felt ghosted but you do feel very much alone right now in this love that you have for someone the hermit card is also seeking answers you know really turning within you know that little armadillo is wrapped up and you know looking at things from a different perspective you are going through a tremendously healing uh, time. Whatever happened here with this lover, you are really understanding at a deep and core level um, what has gone on in this relationship. The King of Wands is showing up a second time. King of Wands here, King of Wands there. You really want to take a leadership role. You want to live with somebody who's exciting. You want to live with somebody who is um, a lover, somebody who really is uh, very engaged with you. You're feeling lonely right now, even, even for those within a relationship. There is a sense of isolation. For those of you who are in a relationship and want more, you are definitely going after it. We see this energy that you want what you want. Nothing's going to stop you. You are going slowly and steadily forward. You are manifesting. It is an incredible month for you. The Four of Cups is the outcome card. The reason that you feel very detached from someone is that it looks as though there is a lover who's just not really engaging with you in a deep and meaningful way. I do, so with the lover's card though, it is assured. I do see for those of you in separation, it may be a delay, but I feel as though there is someone coming back uh, to see you again. So I'm going to take this to the extended. We're going to clarify there. If you would be interested, great. Uh, the link is in the description box. We'll throw more cards. We'll go into the messages more deeply. I have uh, 
reduce the price of the extendeds right now temporarily to $3.99, maybe forever, who knows? It depends on how much people participate. So I wanna thank you, Aries. It's been a joy and a pleasure and an honor bringing this reading to you. I hope that if you have found that it resonated with you or interesting, that you will hit the like, subscribe, and comment on the video and share the video. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.